What is this that I'm so gently holding in my hand? Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and in today's video we'll be testing out this brass piston for the regulator on my FX Impact M3 and compare it to the original. There has been four different pistons made for the amp regulator. The first two ones was made in plastic and the difference between them was that the first one was in 14 millimeters and the next one was 60 millimeters long. And that's actually the one that is in the FX Impact M3. At some point uh, a brass piston was made and as you can see here uh, it has a hole in the side um, and the difference between that one and this new one is that the holes are made here at the end of the piston uh, and they're so small that you can't see them uh, and I haven't been able to take a picture of them so you'll have to trust me on, on this one. But it is this last and newest one that I'll be installing in my impact later today. But let's take the gun to the range and start the testing. So what is it that we expect from a well-functioning regulator? Well, I know that I expect a fast and accurate fill. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in this test. We'll start out by taking uh, three shots and film the gauge over here and to see how fast it actually fills in between each shot. And after that, we'll be taking a look at the spread. And when we've done that, we'll take the gun into the house and I'll change for the brass piston and we'll do the same test again. So let's start with the original setup. Okay, that went pretty well. It had an average fill time of the plenum of uh, around uh, 5.1 second. And uh, in my opinion, that's uh, pretty good. Uh, let's talk about the spread. I shot this five shot string uh, this morning. I could have shot uh, maybe 10 or 15 shots, but uh, I ended up at, uh, at this uh, five shot string. And as you can see here, it had a spread of three. So I can say that I'm not satisfied with the with the regulator and the piston that I have in the gun right now. So uh, yeah, it will be quite exciting to see if there's a difference when we install the brass piston. Just for reference, uh, I just want to tell you about the gun before we uh, change the into the brass piston. It is of course the FX Impact M3 and it has the 700 millimeter heavy liner and I'm shooting a 16 grain sands at, uh, as you can see, an average of uh, 967 feet per second. And one other thing that uh, I want to, um, to address is that if you have a regulator that is uh, filling very, very slowly, before you go and, uh, and buy a new brass piston or <laughs> whatever this test uh, shows out to, uh, to prove, um, you could try to uh, release the gauge just a little bit because if you have the gauge on too tight, it can actually be so tight that it can't read at all. So uh, if you have uh, uh, emptied your gun completely for air and uh, you have uh, tightened the gauge too much, it won't read at all. And I've had many people asking me, ah, maybe my segment is broken or something like that. Uh, I always say, try to release the gauge just a little bit and usually it uh, starts to read. And the same thing goes if you have a slow fill, if you, um, just release it just a tiny bit, maybe like uh, two, three degrees uh, of, a, of a full turn, not more than that, you'll see that it actually uh, helps uh, it, or it can help uh, the fill time. So yeah, with that said, let's go in and uh, change um, into the brass piston. Okay, now the brass piston has been installed and I'm ready to shoot. 
The operation of changing the piston is uh, pretty straightforward. It takes about 20 minutes if you do it correctly. If you don't and forget to loop it up in the right way, it takes another 20 minutes. But anyway, you can guess why I'm telling you that. We are ready to shoot and see how long it takes to fill in between each shot. Okay, that went pretty well. Uh, it had an average fill time of around four and a half seconds, which is uh, just a little bit faster than the times that I recorded with the plastic piston. So let's talk about the spread. I want to show you a few strengths that I've shot. First one here is at uh, 967 with a spread of two, and actually just one of the shots uh, were at uh, 965. I want to show you a few more because I want to show you that this was not just a freak coincidence. So here's the next one. It's, it's between uh, 967 and 965. And the last one is uh, between 979 and 977. And once again, just one of the shots was at uh, 977. So the spread is very, very good uh, with the new brass piston. But let's go into the conclusion. Is it worth it? I have now presented you with the fill times between each shot and I've shown you the difference in spread uh, before and after installing the brass piston. So with those numbers I will actually leave it entirely up to you. As for myself, I'm measuring my gun in uh, consistency and accuracy. And if I can get maybe not the, the fill time, it's not all that important to me, but uh, the spread is very important to me. And if I'm shooting at uh, 100 meters, uh, I'm measuring by, by how many groups I can shoot at around two centimeters at uh, 100 meters. And I just know that when my spread is going down, the uh, accuracy and the consistency of the shots are improving. So for me, uh, I'm very happy that I did the upgrade, but Anyway, I'll leave it entirely up to you. As for accuracy, I didn't cover this in, in this video because I'm just shooting here uh, at my own range at uh, 34 meters and it shows exactly the same results as it did uh, with the plastic piston. So uh, I can't really say much about that yet, but uh, hopefully when I get to 100 meters, I'll be sub MOA every time I shoot a group, or at least I hope so. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. and. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, it helped, it helped me quite a lot. So uh, until next time, take care and shoot safe.